Hi there. My name is Tommy. I'm the nurse practitioner student that will be doing my assessment today. Thank you. Hi. What's your name? Katie. Katie. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <clears throat> so, there's just a few questions I want to ask before we get started. Just you know, since we, since uh, this is the first time you and I have met. Um, so, to start, what brings you in today? Um, well, I, I like to get a physical every year just to um, make sure that I'm doing okay and make sure everything's working right. So, just for a physical. Okay. Um, again, to kind of get to know, know a little bit more about you, um, do you have any kind of history of any sort of illnesses or anything like that? Um, I, I, you know, I've been to the doctor here and there, but I've never been diagnosed with any diseases or any like, medical conditions. Okay. Any children illnesses? Um, scarlet fever, chicken pox, polio? Um, when I was younger, I had the chicken pox. Um, I think that's all I've had. Measles, mumps, rubella? Uh-uh. Okay. No, I was vaccinated. So you're up to date on all your immunizations, mm -hmm. vaccines and everything? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Do you have a history of any kind of um, surgical operations? Uh, or? I've had a couple surgeries. Um, I remember when I was 14, I had a cyst removed, gangrene cyst removed from my wrist. And um, what else have I had done? I think I was 20 when I had my wisdom teeth out. Okay. And, uh, oh, I had tubes when I was a kid too, ear to, uh, tubes in my ears. I'm not sure how old I was, so I'll assume. Uh, any other hospitalizations or anything like that besides maybe these little um, inpatient procedures? I went to the ER once for a concussion, but that was it. <clears throat> any toxic exposures or anything like that that you're aware of? No. Uh, are you on any certain uh, or any uh, current medications or? Um, Herbal supplements or anything like that? No, I just take birth control um, every day. What kind? Well, do you know the name? It's called uh, AV, Avion. Okay. okay. And do you take that one a day, two a day? Yeah, I take it every day and it's continuous pill dosing. So. Okay. Um, and you, are you aware of the dosage amount? No. Okay. And then how long have you been taking this? Um, I've been on birth control since I was about 18, but. Uh, this particular pill I started in July of this year. Um, moving on, moving along, we'll we'll uh, talk about get some of your your habits. First, we'll we'll talk about your diet habit. Um, do you have any allergies? First of all, sorry. Oh, um, no, I don't think so. Not that I know of. Okay. Um, going back to the habits. Oh yes. I apologize. That's okay. Um. um my diet is, I just follow, I don't like do any special dieting, like crazy stuff. Just regular three meals a day and some uh, probably bad, bad snacking habits at times. But Everybody's I, guilty every once in a while. Do you, uh, do you do any kind of exercise? I do, I like to exercise. I try to exercise like three to four days a week. I, um, I do like the gym. Okay. So. Uh, any use of alcohol, tobacco, or drugs, or anything? Um, I don't use drugs, but I do like to drink occasionally, just on the weekends, like maybe once or twice a month. And what about tobacco? No. No. Do you drink uh, caffeine? I love coffee? caffeine. Yes, I drink coffee. Uh, I at least have a cup a day usually. Okay. Sometimes two. Any sodas, energy drinks, anything like that? No, I don't like soda. Oh, good. You get good. Have you done any traveling recently in the last, you know, five, six years? Um, well, I was in New Mexico, um, I guess it was two years ago. Oh, and I went to Hawaii, even though that's U.S. Still over? Yes. Overseas. Yes, but kinda. that's it. All right, moving along with your, to your family history, uh, are your maternal grandparents still living? Yes, both of them. Okay. How old are they? I think they're know? both 70 or 79. Do they have any past medical history that you're aware of? Grandfather is healthy as a horse, and my grandmother, she's got lots of problems. Um, she has heart disease and she has diabetes, 
and um, she just had a heart attack, so she's got a couple stents, as far as I know. Um, what about your paternal grandparents? Um, my dad's mother is still alive. Um, she has cardiac disease. I'm not sure the extent of it, um, okay. but I think she's in. She's going to be 80 this year, or 81 or something. And then my dad's grand, my dad's dad passed away probably when I was like 19 or something. He had a heart attack. Okay. Uh, what about your parents? Are your mom and dad still living? Yes, my mom is um, in her 50s, she's like 57, 56, and um, she has diabetes, and I think she has high cholesterol. And what about your father? My dad is in his, he's in his early 60s, and he had, um, he's got high cholesterol. And any siblings at all? I have a sister, she's 29. And she's got some uh, migraine headaches, okay. I think, and that's really it. Any children at all? No children. No brothers? No brothers, just no, my man. sister. Poor dad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, other than um, still on the family history, do they say they have no history of hypertension, um, cancer, ulcers, seizures? Anything that you're aware of, just the heart issues that you're that you're aware of. Yeah, I mean diabetes from? is kind of a lot in my family. Like okay. my aunts and uncles have it too. Okay. But I think that's it. Good. Okay, good. Moving along, social history. Um, just tell me a little bit about yourself. Where you live? Who you live with? Do you have any animals? Um, I uh, live. Uh, me and my I live with my husband. We have a house um, in Edgars. And we have two dogs, and um, it's kind of a sub suburban neighborhood development. So. How long have you guys lived there? Oh, three years now. Oh, okay. Is that you or your husband from there? No, uh, no. I mean, we live like thirty minutes south. Okay. But it's kind of in the middle of the work work area. So. Good. Well, that makes sense then. All right. Well, the next step is we're, I'm just gonna kind of ask you questions about your systems. So I'll pretty much start from your head and go down to your toes, and I'll just ask you questions if you notice differences, if you have certain feelings, if you know things like that. Okay. So we'll first start off. Have you noticed any weight changes, fatigue, weakness, fever, um, anything like that, such a nature? No. I wish I lay away less, but no. Okay. No, I don't, I don't, I don't think I have any of those things. Okay. Um, your skin. Have you noticed any like lesions, sores, um, any like moles, irregular moles, or or um, uh, things just, like that? I've had some dryness now that it's winter, but um, and I've had a couple skin tags removed, um, but they were nothing. I, I mean, I went to a dermatologist, and um, they were not um, cancerous or anything. It was just basically something. Okay. <laughs> That's always a good thing, though. At least you're taking care of yourself. Yeah. Uh, moving along your head, do you do you have any uh, like dizziness, headaches, um, any kind of head trauma that you're aware of at all? Um, I get tension headaches sometimes, um, but I wouldn't, there's no pattern or anything to it. It's just mostly stress, I think. And do you ever take anything for it? Like, I like Excedrin. Excedrin? Yeah. Okay. And, uh, just that concussion, but I haven't had any trouble with my head since. Good. Uh, your ears, have you noticed any ear aches, ear drainage? I know you said you had the ear tubes as you were little. Have you had any issues since, since no. then? No. Mm -mm. No, I haven't had any of those. Loss things. of hearing? Uh-uh. Any ringing in the ears? Nope. Good. Uh, any um, uh, visual changes to your eyes? Do you wear contact glasses? No, I actually don't need either one of those things. Lucky. Yeah. Lucky. So you no discomfort, no drainage. No. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, nose and sinuses. Um, do you have any issues with breathing? Any drainage? Um, smelling? No. Anything like that? Uh -uh. No. Okay. Um, any sinus pressure ever? No. No. Wow. Okay. 
Um, mouth and throat, do you, have you noticed any like lacerations or um, lesions or any kind of sores or any kind of exudate or anything like that in your mouth? Um, no, I haven't had anything wrong with my mouth. Good. For... Teeth? I know you said you had your wisdom teeth when you were 20. Anything? Braces and retainers? No, no I just have, um, I had braces when I was 14, I think, 13 or 14. And um, I still have them. I have braces every day. And then I have braces every day. Moving along down, like I said, from head to, head to toe. Next stop is the, the neck. Have you noticed any like masses or any tenderness or any um, limited range of motion at all? No. Good. Uh, your breasts, have you noticed any lumps, any drainage from the nipples, any soreness, any r swelling red? Oh, no, Anything? I don't think so. Not that, no changes. Good. Cardiovascular, have you noticed any palpitations, irregular heartbeats? Um, any issues with blood pressure, anything in, in, as um, such? No, I mean, I think sometimes I have heart palpitations, but it's probably when I'm drinking too much coffee. And uh, but I don't think none of that other stuff you said. No edema, like swelling in your extremities no. or any shortness of breath? No. Issues laying down? No chest pain, no. Good. Um, that goes right into respiratory as being short of breath. You don't feel short of breath. <laughs> what about it when you exercise? Do you notice? Do you, do you, is it hard to breathe? I'm a terrible runner, but I still try. But nothing abnormal, no. So do you ever get like wheezing or anything? No. Oh, okay, good. <clears throat> um, moving along, uh, GI. Do you, have you noticed any um, any nausea, vomiting, any um, heartburn, or any any uh, issues with eating at all? No. Any gas? No. Chest or um, changes in uh, bowel movements? No. Good. Just regular. Good. Um, have you noticed that, uh, an urgency or uh, increase in frequency or any burning when you urinate or void? No. Good. 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 Uh, are, you, are you sexually active? Yes. It is. Monogamous with my husband. Okay. Good. 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 <clears throat> um, have you noticed any like uh, abnormal bleeding, bruising, um, anything like that? Since you say you are active. No, no, uh -uh. no. I get bruises when I hurt myself. That's it. Is it, there is, uh, do you bruise easy? No. Okay. Okay. Um, any kind of heat cold intolerance any when you f go from lying down to raising to standing quickly do you notice any dizziness or um, uneasy on your balance or anything like that no okay um any joint pains any back pain um knee elbow neck back uh, ankle any kind of joint pain or any kind of muscle weakness in general that you've noticed no, everything works pretty good. <clears throat> no, uh, no seizures or um, any dizzy spells or or things like th of that nature at all. Uh, no dizziness. No. Memory like loss, that. tremors. Uh -uh. Good. Um. And then I know you said you're on birth control. So, do you recall your last menstrual cycle that you had? Um, well, with the continuous dosing, I don't really get it anymore. Okay. It was probably back in July before I started on this, this birth control, a certain kind. Okay. Um, but I don't have any, like, um, other symptoms or anything. No other, like, vaginal bleeding or mm -mm. discharge or anything like that? Nope. Okay, good. Good, good. That takes us along into our, the next part of the, uh, the exam, which is the actual physical exam. So. Um, again, it will kind of just be like what we just did. Um, instead of you, me asking you and you answering, um, I will do my own assessment and, and ask you to do things and listen and feel and things like that. Again, we'll go from head to toe. This takes a little bit longer because 
each section there's a little more involvement with, okay. with the example, okay? Okay. You can just slide on over a little bit. <clears throat> so first, um, kind of just look over your general. I, I would have looked over her general appearance as she walked in or um, as she's standing on the, uh, sitting on the table. Um, we got her age. We got, you know, her skin looks good. Um, her gait looks good. Her hearing, just by talking to her, she looks decent. Her is good. So first, we'll start with vital signs. I'm just going to get a blood pressure. Um, and I hope my assistant got your height and weight before you came in. Oh yes, they did. Oh, okay, good. Do you do you remember? Do you recall when your last blood pressure was? Yeah, I usually run like 100 over 70s, kind okay. of lower. And what about your heart rate? Um, I think I I usually am in the 60s. Oh, good. You just feel a little tightness. And while I was doing that, I was checking your respirators. Your respirators are 16, which is good. No shortness of breath. You are relaxed when you're breathing. So that's very good. <clears throat> you got to get your one last thing I'll do before we move on is the temperature. 36.7. Very good. So we'll start you with by you just sitting on the table. And I'm just going to kind of start by looking. Your, your face, your head, your cranium, everything looks pretty symmetrical, looks good. I'm just going to kind of feel, might feel kind of weird, but I'm going to feel your head, feel the texture of your hair, your cranium, it's not very good. I'm going to just inspect your face, kind of make sure everything's symmet uh, symmetrical and everything like that. I'm going to palpate your temporal artery, and then I'll come down to your temporomandibular joint. Here I'll ask you to open and close your mouth. Good, good. No, no crepitus or anything like that. Next, I'm just going to kind of palpate your sinuses. If they feel kind of tender, you let me know. If they're tender, they, they feel good? Mm -hmm. Good. If they were tender, I could transluminate. But since there is no tenderness, we will not do that. It looks very good. I will have you kind of wrinkle your forehead. Okay. Close your eyes real tight, open wide, smile, frown, stick out your tongue, side to side, good. Those are checking your cranials, cranial nerve seven and five. One last one is puff your cheeks. Good, very good. Um, next I will have a, I have a Q-tip and I have a uh, paper clip, one's dull, one sharp. Okay. I'm gonna have you close your eyes. I want here. This is this is dull. This is sharp. Okay. So when I ask you, I want to. I want you to tell me if it's dull or sharp. Close your eyes. Dull or sharp. Dull. Dull or sharp. Sharp. Dull or sharp. Sharp. Dull or sharp. Dull. Very good. And that's testing cranial nerve five. Next part of the exam is I'm going to ask you um, if you see my fingers wiggling. Yes. Wiggle. Wiggle. That's cranial nerve two. Along with that, I'm going to ask you to look at my pen. I want you to follow along and watch it go right into the tip of your nose. Okay. okay? Very good. Combination's good. 
Last one I'll do with the eyes right now is the um, extraocular motion. I want you to just follow my pen. Okay. Good. Here I'm testing for nystagmus or any kind of um, um, abnormalities with the, with the um, the eye motions, like um, ptosis or anything like that. And those are cranial nerve 3, 4, and 6. Um, next, I'm just going to look into the eyes, look at your conjunctiva, look at your pupils, your iris, your sclera. Everything looks good, looks symmetrical. No drainage, I see no redness. Um, so that's very good. Going to check your pupil's um, size in reaction. So this might be a little bright. I'm just going to have you look straight ahead. Good constriction. Again, good constriction. Next, I will darken the room. I'll get the ocular fundus on, and we will be looking into your eye. I apologize now. It's going to be very bright. All right, I just want you to look for it, okay? Right. See some vessels. See the uh, red reflex. See your disc. Very good. Again, I'll check the disc, the, the other eye. See the red? See the vessels? Disc as well. Very good. Turn the light back on. Next part of the exam, we'll move to the ears. First, I'm just going to inspect the ears. Look for any redness, tenderness, drainage. Everything looks good. Very good. Um, any tragus um, tenderness or anything like that? Uh -uh. I'm going to grab the otoscope. Sometimes this is um, uncomfortable for patients, okay. but this spectrum will have to go into your ear, okay? All right, I see. Great tympanic membrane, great coronal light, and I see the uh, handles of the malus. Okay. Check the other ear. Again, ear canal is clean, infinite membrane gray, point of light, and your handles mouse. Very good. Next thing, next part of the test, I'm just going to have you cover your right ear. I'm going to whisper uh, a word in your ear, and I want you to repeat. Repeat. Okay. Necklace. Okay. Other ear. Basketball. Very good. That's um, that's just checking her acuity or her uh, the um, auditory um, nerve. Next test is going to be the Weber test. Weber test. This is just um, testing the um, yeah the lateralization of of the ears. Okay. So. I'm going to take this tune for it, stick it on the top of your head, I want you to tell me if you hear it right, left, or both. Okay. okay? Oh, I hear that on both ears. Good. Good. That's normal. Next one is the Rennie test. This, these are uh, testing cranial nerve 8. The Rennie test is actually um, bone versus air conduction. So first part of the test, I'm going to hold it in the back of your, the bone right behind your ear. And when you stop hearing that, I, wanna let you, I want you to let me know. I will then hold it to your ear and then you again let me know when you stop hearing it. Okay. Let me know when you stop hearing it. I don't hear it anymore. Okay. It's gone. Good. Same thing. It's gone. It's gone. Good. Air conduction is greater than bone conduction, which is absolutely normal to us. 
Next, I will, we will be moving on to your nose. I will just inspect your nose looking for uh, symmetry and your any drainage or any kind of lesions or any abnormalities with the skin or anything like that. Everything looks good. I will then ask you to cover one of your nose. So, suck in and out. Do it the other nostril. Good. Any issues? Any? Are they both patent? Mm -hmm. Good. Nasal speculum, I will look into your nose. Good. Nice and pink. <laughs> Good. Mucosa is pink. Septum is um, symmetrical or uh, midline. Looks very good. <clears throat> we'll move along to your mouth and throat. Um, we're just kind of going to look at your lips, look at your mouth. Everything looks pink, looks symmetrical. I'm going to have you open your mouth, please. Everything looks pink and moist. Um, stick out your tongue. Lift up your tongue. All right, stick it back out. I'm sorry. And then say ah. Uh, okay. And then this, I could also um, check for a gag reflex, which is checking your nerves nine, cranial nerves nine and ten. <clears throat> Sticking out the tongue is assessing your cranial nerve twelve. Um, uvula looked um, midline, looked normal, um, no extra date or anything like that in the mouth. When I look at your neck, everything looks midline or symmetrical. No lumps, no lesions, no nothing of that nature. When I palpate your lymph nodes, you have multiple lymph node areas. I'm going to start with your post auricular, pre auricular, sub maxillary, sub uh, mantle, and move to the occipital. In your cervical, deep cervical, over to your subclavicular. Very good. No tenderness. No. Uh -uh. No. Okay. Good. Very good. Just gonna palpate your carotid arteries and just do one at a time. Next one is I'm going to just take them with the bell of my stethoscope. I'm going to listen for any kind of bruise or abnormal sounds. Okay. Just turn just a tidbit. I'm going to palpate your trachea. Trachea is midline. I'm going to palpate your thyroid. If you would give me a deep swallow. Good. Don't feel any same paperness or anything like that, so that's good. Next, I'm going to have you just uh, perform a few, few uh, movements with your neck. Can you go ear to ear or ear to shoulder, both sides? Can you go side to side? Can you go back? What about chin to chest? Last one, shoulder shrug. Okay. I'm just going to use this up. Go to side. Turn to side. Here to shoulder. Here to shoulder. Very good. Those are all uh, assessing cranial nerves uh, 9 and 11. I already palpated the thyroid gland. <clears throat> Next is um, moving on to your extremities. Okay. I'm just going to kind of look at your, your arms, your hands, fingertips assessing cap refill, looking at the nail bed, no noting my temperature, which are nice and warm. Again, same thing with the left arm. Fingers, tablet refill, temperature, looks good. I'm just going to palpate your uh, joints. If you would just move your shoulders. Okay. Moving your elbows. Okay. Your wrists. Your fingers. Good. <clears throat> I'm going to have you 
Um, if you would take your arms and just raise them off to the side. All right. While you're still there, can you bring them across your chest? Very good. Other arm. Good. Can you bring your elbows like this? And what about rotating up? Rotating down? What about behind you? Other arm behind you? Can you take them straight back? And then straight forward. Very good. Next, I will do your elbows. I just want you to bend your elbows up, down. All right, I want you to pick up and then push. Same way with your hands. Can you go like this? Can you go up? What about doing forward, back? What about your hands? Can you just squeeze them like this? Open, no, no pain? No. Squeeze my fingers? Very good. This is a, no, still on the upper extremities. I'm going to take your doll and sharp again. Okay, so I want you to close your eyes. When you feel dull or sharp, I want you to tell me what, if it is dull or if it's sharp and what side I'm touching. Um, that's on my right arm. I feel a dullness. Good. On well, my left arm is a sharp. Good. Still while your eyes remain closed, I'm going to take that fine tuning fork. Mm -hmm. I want you to tell me vibration and where. Oh, I feel vibrating on my right arm. Good. And then on my left arm. Good. Still remain eyes closed. I want to, I'm going to put something in your hand, and I want you to feel it, and I want you to tell me what it is. Um, that's a paper clip. Good. A pen. Good. You can open your eyes now. Just going to feel it for your radial pulses. Plus two, good. Your ulnar pulses. Good. And your brachial. Good. While we have you here, I'm just going to have you kind of pull your shoulders back. I'm going to check for your axillary nodes. Mm -hmm. Any tenderness or anything like that? Nope. I'm going to check your epi uh, trochlear nodes. Good. Very good. All right, I'm going to have you just rotate a little bit. I'm going to step behind you, if you don't mind. I'm going to inspect and just palpate your spine, okay? Okay. Just going to palpate and inspect your, your uh, spine to make sure it's uh, in line. Checking for muscles. Looking for skin characteristics. I would have a patient with a gown on with their back exposed so that way I could see all of uh, their skin, the thoracic cage, um, the symmetry of their chest um, and their muscles. I will palpate for symmetrical exertion at, at rib number 10. So I'll just have you take a deep breath in and out. Very good, that's symmetrical. I'm going to check in four different spots on your back. As I, as I put my hands on your chest, I want you to say 99. Okay, 99. 99, 99, 99. Good. Um, there are no, t no bumps, no bumps, no tenderness, no nothing like that. Next is I'm going to be percussing in seven different areas of your, of your, of your back, okay? Okay. Checking for um, resonance of your lungs. Very good. I'm also going to percuss for your costo retrieval angle, noting any kind of tenderness. Hmm. Any tenderness? No. Feels good. Fine. All right. I'm going to listen to your lung sounds, okay? So okay. when you hear my stethoscope, I just want you to take a nice deep breath. Okay. Last one. Very good. <coughs> Breath sounds sound normal. I did not hear any crackles, wheezing, um, anything like that. 
I will now have you rotate back and I will come back in front of you. One thing before we move on, I apologize. Okay. I'm going to check your diaphragmatic uh, excursion. Oh, okay. I apologize about that. First of all, I'm going to have you take a deep, like a deep, a breath in. Okay. Exhale everything. And when you exhale, I want you to hold. Okay. Okay. Deep breath in. And out. Hold. Now mark it there. All right. All right. This time, instead of exhale, I want you to take a deep breath in and hold. Okay. Deep breath in, hold. All right, that's about four four centimeters, which is normal. Oh, cool. Now you can move forward. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> uh, again, this I will have their their chest exposed so that way I can see everything um, of their skin. So I would inspect any um, skin characteristics. I would assess the um, your breathing, make sure that it's symmetrical, make sure that you know. There's not one side moving and one side not, or vice versa, or whatnot. Um, I will again. I will. Ha I will I'm going to put my hands in, in um, points of your chest. I want you to say 99. Okay. okay. 99. 99. 99. 99. Good. Any lumps or any tenderness at all? No. Good. Um, I'm going to again do my little percussion. Okay. Lastly, I'm just going to listen to your lungs, okay? Okay. Good. <clears throat> Before I lay down, I can, if I was to do the breast exam, which I will not, um, I would just have her raise her arms over her shoulders or her head and I would kind of um, palpate any um, nodes or any nodules or anything like that. I would assess the contour, the skin, breast position and have her hold her hands to her hips and look for um, uh, inversion of the nipples um, and, and, and uh, indenting of the nipples and then that way um, I can finish it when I lie down for the uh, for the um, cardiovascular exam. Before I have you lay down I'm going to check you know some of your heart sounds. Okay. First I'm just going to have you lean forward just a little bit. I'm just going to listen with the bell to see if I can hear any murmurs. I'm checking the base of the heart. Good. Everything sounds normal. I did not hear any murmurs. Okay. This time, I would just ask if you could lie down. Okay. And I would ideally like to have a bed or a, a, an examination table at 30 degrees. But we don't have that table. Um, I would inspect both sides of the neck looking for any kind of... Uh, Jugular venous pulse or anything like that. I can see the carotids. Could you turn your head to the right and then turn to the left? Good. Everything looks good. I do not see any distension or um, things like that to even indicate whether I should uh, assess for a pressure or estimate a pressure. I'm going to feel her apical pulse. Feel it gently. Fifth and intercostal. Good. Next, I'm just going to listen and auscultate the apical rate. Good. I'm going to auscultate with the diaphragm of my. Uh, my uh, stethoscope. I'm just going to assess for any murmurs or anything like that, okay? okay. Listening for any word. Good. 
Omanic. Try to test it. You might show. And while I'm having me lay here, I'm just going to listen with my diaphragm as well to all the heart sounds. But now, Katie, I'm just going to have you roll over to the left side real quick, and then that way I can take another listen. Okay. This just allows me to hear it sometimes a little better. Good. Good? Yes. Here, I could actually finish my breast exam if I were to do so by, I could palpate circular going up to the tail dispense up into the arms, bilateral sides, um, assessing contour, um, any lumps, any any lesions, any any abnormalities of the breasts. Um, but we will be not be doing that part of the exam. Next, I'll be moving to the abdomen. Still a patient lying down. I would look at the contour, the symmetry, uh, any skin characteristics. I would have the patient's belly exposed any um, pulsations or umbilicus or anything like that. Um, do not see any abnormalities. All right, Katie, I'm just going to listen to your bowel, bowel sounds, okay? Okay. I'll listen in all four quadrants. Very good. I'm just going to listen to your vascular um, sounds. This is the aorta. This is, I'm listening for any breweries or anything like that. You have your renals. Your iliacs. Good. Next, I'm going to percuss in all four quadrants. Okay. I'm going to um, try to percuss the liver. I hear dullness. There we go. About there. Get this about about seven. It's just normal. Next, I will actually do um, come over to the left side and press the spleen. Good. Just gonna do some light palpitation all over your your belly. Okay. Kind of feeling for now lumps, any nodules. Any tenderness? No, sir. A little deeper. Sometimes this is a little more uncomfortable for patients, but if it hurts too bad, please let me know. This is a little deeper palpation, just kind of feeling a little farther down, deeper in the belly. Okay. Any tenderness? No. Good. I'm going to try to palpate for the, for the spleen, which is not always... Uh, not able to always do this. Okay. Again, I'm going to move over here and I will do the liver. Try to palpate for the kidneys if you can. Go ahead. And I could palpate for any. Um, inguinal nodes, or um, I can check for the uh, femoral pulses as well while, while doing this part of the exam. <clears throat> Bef 
before we move along out of the abdomen, I will test the um, obtruder, which is uh, a, uh, an exam that we could do to test for any kind of appendix um, inflammation or sensitivity. First, I will have you raise your knee up. I'll have you bring it across your body. Any tenderness? No. Good. Last one is the psoas. Mm -hmm. I'm just going, and this does the same thing to test for your appendix inflammation. I want you to raise your knee. Good. Any tenderness? No. Very good. Before I have you sit up, I'm just going to kind of look at your lower extremities, look for symmetry, look for skin characteristics, temperature, hair distribution. I'm going to check for your pulses. I already checked for femoral. I'm going to check your popliteal. Good. Good. Posterior tibial. And your dorsalis pedis. Good. And bilaterally. Good. Nice strong pulses. As I'm down here, I can check for temperature and cap refill. They look wonderful. Um, I will have you, Katie, I will have you, if you can, take your right, right leg or hip and move it out from the table and in. Same with the left, out and in. Come up, come down, up, down. Knees, I want you to push against me, pull. Same with your feet, push, or push and then pull. And I want you to stick your knees as far out as you can. Bend them in all, all this, as far as you can. And out, in, your feet. I want you to take your feet up, down like you're pushing on a gas pedal. Relax them. I want you to come inversion. You bring your toes in. And exversion, or uh, eversion, which is out. Last one, I just want you to bring your knees to your chest. Very good. You can sit on up. Again, this is your doll in sharp. Oh, okay. Okay, I want you to close your eyes. You okay? <laughs> okay. I want you to close your eyes. Again, doll or sharp, what extremity? Oh, that's doll in my right leg. Good. Okay. Sharp in my left leg. Good. Tuning fork again. Okay. Eyes closed. I'm gonna uh, touch touch your leg. I want you to tell me if you feel the vibration on what leg. Okay. Oh, that's on the left. Okay. Vibrating on my right. Good. Eyes closed again. Okay. I want you to tell what position I have your toe. Okay. Oh, it's down. Up. Up. Down. Good. Okay. As you set up, I assessed your strength of your abdomen. Um, moving along to your neuro neurological exam, kind of already did a lot of your uh, cranial nerves with the shoulder stroke, yep. tongue out, keeps, uh, cheeks puffed out. Um, I want you to um, take your finger, touch it to your nose, and I want you to touch my finger. Very good. Good. I want you to take your fingers. I want each finger to touch your thumb like this. And I want you to do it as fast as you can. Very good. Can you pat your hands like this back and forth rapid fast? Good. All right. <clears throat> last one is, uh, or not last one, but I want you to take your right heel, rub it down your left shin. And do your other side. Left, down your right. Good. Checking for any ten, um, any um, tremors or anything like that. Um, is uh, next? I'm going to check your reflexes. Okay. And no kicking me. Okay. In this exam, first I'm going to check for your triceps. Okay. Bicep. Brachioradialis. 
this is your patellar, and then your Achilles. Good. I'm going to do it on your other side. Good. Great. Cool. Break your radialis, your patellar, and your keel. Last one is very ticklish, so I apologize. This is the Babinski test just to see if uh, what reflex you have at your feet, okay? Good. Good. Painting it out with the, with the toes would not be a good sign. Okay. Next is I'm going to have you step off the table for me, if you wouldn't mind. I'm going to have you kind of bend down in front of me. I'm going to kind of palpate and assess your, your vertebrae, okay? Any tenderness? No. Good. Good. Looks good. Okay. Feels good. While you're standing here, I'm going to have you hyperextend. Any pain? No. All right, side to side. And can you rotate? Very good. Now I'm just going to have you walk normal away from me. Okay. All right, when you come back, I want you to heel to toe. Good. All right, again, turn around. I want you to walk on your toes, tiptoes, as, as much as you can. Turn around, when you come back, I want you to walk on your heels. Good. Alright, um, now this is part of the test where I'm just going to have you stand with your feet as close as you can. And I just want you to close your eyes and I want to assess for 30 seconds. Okay. To make sure you don't lose any of your balances. last part of my, I forgot, I apologize. I just want you to take your hands, I want you to, can you go out, can you okay. come outward, oh. there you go, and inward, very good. And so I just want to see the range of motion in your hands, okay. and then close your eyes, I want you to tell me fingers, if it's up, down, or to the side. Up, down, down, up, up. Good. Um, I think that concludes our exam. Okay. Uh, do you have any questions or concerns or anything that you would like to address? So good. Okay. Well, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. If you do have any questions, please feel free to call the office. Okay. Thank All right. you. You're welcome. Okay.